Hello, my name is George. This is GLLR Cars. Today we're talking the Volvo S60. The Volvo S60 is a luxury vehicle that is supposed to compete with the likes of Mercedes, Audi, BMW. It is not known for being as sporty as those German counterparts, but it is a brand that has made a name for itself for good safety more than anything. And cars that were just very well built and put together, a, uh, a, a Volvo is a car that is at least well respected in the car industry. Despite the fact that a car like this um, has gone through different ownerships, um, Volvo has at least remained true to its roots and been able to make some very solid cars. These uh, all-wheel drive T6 S60 is a car that is mid-size, a car that is supposed to give you luxury, and is a car that, again, is not probably not supposed to intend to compete with the more sportier German counterparts. But all of that being said, I've never really driven a Volvo, so for me, this is much as a discovery as it is for some of you who are watching this video. But Let's take a really quick look in the inside and see what this car is like. The inside of the car does show a very nice interior, very well laid out, very nice big screen, digital dash. Back is for a car of this size, and it is adequate. If I look here, plenty of space here for my knees, uh, and I can sit up just right so very comfortable for its size uh very spacious and when you get in you do feel like you're in something a little bit special um like for instance look at the controls back there for ac and vents there are digital controls and um again you know little little touches like the vents here on the b pillars starting it out is different it's got this button here that you twist quarter of the way and it turns on dashboard is completely digital and you can just swipe to either side to do whatever functions you need to do um, this dashboard is completely digital as well and you can actually with the buttons here on the uh, wheel you can control the radio station you can swap the different settings etc well, first impressions on the Volvo S60 is the acceleration. The acceleration is surprisingly good. And the reason being is that this is not a small vehicle, yet it does seem to just push the minute you punch it. So not as fast as a sports car, but for a luxury car, it does feel very good. The other impression that I have is the suspension. The suspension feels very, very stiff. And there are different drive modes. But nevertheless, if I were to go ahead and put it on sports mode here, it just feels very, very stiff. And it feels very surprisingly very precise it feels like it was like there's nothing loose or rattling and everything is really tight in the car especially when you make a turn and the the feeling of the steering wheel is probably on par with a luxury car it is not too soft but it's not as probably as um, you don't you don't feel the road as much as some other cars like some Mercedes products but it does like I said being on par it means that it feels very similar to at least a steer the steering of a BMW approximately just move it up a little bit here I do like the fact that the dashboard is 100% digital and this is what I would expect in cars today the infotainment system it's all digital, it's all touch and swipe capabilities. The, uh, the center console is absolutely well put together with wood inside the car throughout the panels. It is 
very well put together. Here's. Yeah, it does. It is a pleasurable driving experience. This car is surprisingly. This this is probably the the surprise of the year for me. This car, and again, I've never driven a Volvo, so probably for those of you who have, then you could probably say, oh yes, yeah, now you understand why it is that um, these cars are uh, as good as people say they are. So I like the fact that it does. Nothing feels cheap. Nothing feels. Everything is either leather, faux wood. There is some plastic. Even the wood may be faux wood, but it does have a good feel. The the vent controls have the metallic inserts in it. The the seats have multi positions in it. The the, the look of the cabin with this uh, brown interior is quite good, and the visibility is quite surprisingly good. The uh, up, up above me, this moon roof slash sunroof is quite big and it's got like, just like that little liner that comes up and many cars are doing today. So very impressive. And a car like this, this happens to be a, um, a car that is technically used. So uh, they sell it as a used car. But if you look at the amount of miles, it only has 1200 miles in it so it's almost like you're buying a new car this could be a good deal for those of you who are looking to get into a luxury car and this would at least give you a a, a flavor for getting into that next category of cars what that would look like check the turn just to see what the turn radius is that's yeah, got a very good turn radius as well but very responsive it's just right there with you i like that the gauges they have these bars that turn as you increase the speed or the rpm so it's not just the needle that moves it also shows you that bar that moves so it's very very good the ac vents are gigantic they're vertical ac vents but they get the job done in a hot texas summer it is a relief to feel that. The engine sound is probably on par with many of the other cars like this. It is not too whiny, yet you can tell that Volvo doesn't make an attempt to making it loud. And uh, that's probably the difference between someone who wants to give their car a sporty feel and someone that wants to give their car more of a luxury feel where sound is not the priority the um, the controls here for the infotainment are it takes a little bit to getting used to it but once you realize that you can basically do swipe like if you were in a big tablet um, it's like learning any other operating system or any other app or interface you can get used to it very quickly there aren't a whole lot of physical buttons they are here for defog and the uh, hazard lights and then next and before and turn on and off the radio the start stop button the drive mode which right now I have it set up for comfort now it's dynamic now having driven the S60 it was really surprising how well it was put together how much of a joy it was to drive it maybe it wasn't as fast as a sports car but if you don't have that expectation and Volvo is not trying to do that, it was punchy. It was surprisingly punchy. So if you want to be in something luxurious and something that is very well put together, something that is safe, is known for its crash test ratings, and it doesn't look bad. I'm surprised. This car is quite appealing. I thought that it really checks a lot of boxes for someone who wants to get in a, in a nice car that will be able to check a bunch of those boxes in terms of luxury performance, uh, comfort, even the tech was, uh, surprisingly, um, was surprisingly good in terms of having uh, been able to keep up with the latest trends and the bigger screens and the digital dashboards and the like. So I highly recommend this car. And if you were to get it at least a year used, you could probably get a car like this for mid-30s, $33,000, $34,000 approximately. 
that's a very good bargain for a car like this my name is george this is glr cars and as always drive safe